Hi, this is David. In our last video, I talked about using the Recognize Text API, which is part of Microsoft Cognitive Services and Computer Vision, to get the text out of a, a picture of text. And in our example, I, I pointed out that you need to call two web services, one to recognize the text, and that one in its header returns back a URL, and if that URL, we use a get HTTP method to hit that endpoint, and that actually returns the status, and if that status is successful, it'll return the text. Um, we actually used this in-browser tool in our last video to show you how to do that, but um, I wanna, this browser is a little bit, this tool is a little bit limited. It doesn't show, allow us to actually pull an image off of disk. It only allows us to point to an image online. So I wanna show you how to do that. And one simple way to do that without writing any code is to use a tool like Postman. And what Postman does is it allows you to make HTTP requests, modify the URL, the HTTP verb, the, the headers, the body, all, all sorts of things, and look at the request in detail. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now, we already set up a custom vision service right here. And in there, we've got some key pieces of information. We have this endpoint, let me copy that. Just paste it in here so I know it. And then I want to copy these uh, keys right here. Just one of the keys. Either one will work right there. And then we want to hit a URL that starts with this endpoint right here. And look at the documentation. We see that for recognized text, the first web service I did, the URL looks like this. So let me copy that and replace this endpoint right here with our actual endpoint. And then over here where it says mode, we talked about this in the last video, mode equals printed in this case. The documentation says mode is either handwritten or printed. So that's our URL, that's our endpoint, and we're gonna to want to post to that endpoint. See right here, post. So go in here, paste that in, change the verb to post, and then if I go look back at my documentation, I see that I have to set some headers. I have to set the content type to either application JSON or application octet stream. This is, we're gonna send binary data, so we're gonna set it to application octet stream. So let's set the content type of the headers, content type to application octet stream right here and then the other header value will be this OCP APIM subscription key these spaces have to be eliminated that's important and that key is what we pulled out of here from the portal so we'll grab that and that looks good and then finally in our body if we look back over at this the body we're actually going to send the binary image itself Postman allows us to do that by selecting, it's a binary image, and then just select a file from disk. And here we have this poem, picture of a poem that I've downloaded from the internet. It's uh, right here, you can see it. It's a pretty short poem, just a few lines by Robert Frost. All right, so now we've got a post to that URL. There's something in the query string. There's a couple of values in the header, and our body contains a binary image. Let's click Send and we send it, there's nothing that comes back in the body, but if we look at the headers, you'll see that this operation location is returned. And that's what we want. Let's grab that and save that. And that's going to be our next request. This right here. And you'll notice that this looks a lot like it's the endpoint followed by slash vision, slash 2.0, slash tech operations, slash this long GUID. And that looks an awful lot like this right here, get recognized tech to operation results. That's exactly what it is. Endpoint, vision, V2O, text operations, slash some good, some operation ID. So this is an endpoint that uniquely knows about which job we've just kicked off and will return the status of that job. And the only thing we have to do, we could do this with a get. 
which is pretty simple. We could probably do it in the browser, except that we do need to add something to the header. And in the headers, we have to add this OCP API M subscription key. So let's do that. Add a new tab here. It'll be a git. It's going to be this URL right here, right there. And in the header of the request, we want to add the OCP APIM subscription key, and the value of that key is the key for our service right here, right there. So I think I got everything going here. I'm going to click send and send that. And now it's been a minute or two, and so therefore it's already happened. It's possible that it might be in process. You might see something besides succeeded there. It's possible it might be an error, and uh, you'd get something back here. But once because it's succeeded, let's look at the results. First, we have an array of lines, and each line has something called a bounding box, which is just an array of eight integers. And these eight integers are just the x, y coordinates of the four corners of a rectangle that bounds this particular line. So this is the first line. The text of that line is, ah, when the heart of man. And then within each line, we also have an array of words. And you can see down here, the text of each word is things like, ah, when, to, etc. And um, also each word also has a bounding box, which is an array of integers, which represents the XY coordinates of a rectangle surrounding each word. So if you wanted to, you could highlight a word or blank it out or replace it with another word or something like that in the original image. You know where that is in here. And that's how this works when you're using HTTP posts to actually send a binary file using a tool like Postman. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.